good looking weekend and a good time to celebrate Earth Day. This Saturday is the 47th anniversary. The holiday is a reminder to protect our planet's most precious resources, and you can celebrate in a fun and unique way at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. That's where we find Kylie Burst this morning with more on this party for the planet. I like it, Kylie. Yeah, who doesn't want to party for the planet, Kim? And this is so much fun because you have a chance to come out and learn a little bit more about kind of the superheroes behind the earth and everything that goes into it. So we have Lindsay here with us from Como Zoo. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Tell me a little bit more about the party happening this weekend. Sure, so we have Party for the Planet, which is a conservation superheroes weekend. And we have special activities from 10 to four, both days, where we are gonna learn about the superpowers that animals have, and then also how we can be conservation superheroes for them. And what are some of the activities that you'll be doing? I see uh, we're talking a little bit about the Monarch Butterfly. Yes, so we'll be partnering with the Monarch Lab and they're gonna be creating seed balls that we can just take and just toss into our, our yard or areas where we want to grow milkweed, which helps the monarchs. And so we'll learn more about monarchs as well as uh, some super builders. So some of their special capabilities of being able to build these amazing structures for their homes. Fantastic. And I can see that we have the butterflies here. What does it take to actually make that? Are, is it like kind of clumping together some mud for the kids? <laughs> yes, it will be a little dirty. Yes, so it's good. <laughs> yes, it's always fun. So we uh, have a little bit of clay, a little bit of soil and some water and then as well as the milkweed seeds. And it also sounds like there's a freeway to get here this weekend too. There is. So we are partnering with Met Metro Transit. They're offering free rides. So if you go to our website, you can get a coupon to be able to get a free ride from Metro Transit. To get awesome. Here. Lindsay, thank you so much. And we also have some very special visitors with us this morning who will be here on display. So Ruthie is here. Oh, hi, Ruthie. Good morning. <laughs> and you are one of the zookeepers. Who do you have yeah. with us this morning? Um, this is an Everglades rat snake. Her, her name is Droopy. Um, her name is Droopy. Yep. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about her. Um, she is from the Everglades region of Florida, so not native here to Minnesota. Um, but she is here as a representative of snakes uh, this morning to um, let us know what superhero powers that snakes have. And what do they have? Um, that would be masters of disguise. Uh -huh. So they have lots of camouflage. Um, these snakes would be um, kind of up in the treetops and kind of drooping in those uh, oh, Everglades <laughs> trees. And so that's how she got her name. Um, and they would be very camouflaged. So snakes like we have in Minnesota, Minnesota garter snakes would be very camouflaged in um, the reeds and the um, grasses that we have, so hard to see. So they're masters of disguise. What about the tarantulas that you have with yes. us this morning? What's their I superpower? A, I brought a couple tarantulas with. Um, their superhero power is um, regeneration. And so if there's any kind of trauma or anything that um, happens to them, they can actually regrow legs. And so um, tarantulas will molt over the period of their life. Um, they have an exoskeleton, that's how they grow, and um, they can actually regenerate a whole entire leg over subsequent molts. So it's kind that's of so wild. fascinating. What do the kids say when they learn about that they can grow back a leg? It's, it's pretty amazing. They're, they're kind of shocked. They don't think that that's possible, but those eight legs are very important. <laughs> Absolutely. Ruthie, thank you so much. You're going to be out here from 10 to 4 with uh, all the different snakes. Can I, can I pet her? Is that sure. possible? How right. do I do it? Just right here. Okay. Hello. Oh, very, very dry. <laughs> yeah, Jason Kim, look, I'm touching a snake. <laughs> yeah, boy, you really are going all in there, Kylie, with the one finger Ooh. pet. <laughs> go ahead, put two fingers two? on the snake. Oh, there yeah. you go. Okay. okay. All righty. Oh, okay. wow. oh, that's <laughs> great. Yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Ruthie. <laughs> that's, uh, Two fingers more than I would do. Let's just say that. No, thank you. But um, Kim was horrified. everything else looks fun. Except for the tarantula. I was going to also, say the tarantula. Yeah, the tarantula, tarantula the snake. No. So if there was some sort of zoo that just had like kittens, mm -hmm. that's more yours. Kittens. Speed. I know we were talking about sloths. Yeah, I like sloths. Sloth. Anything furry. But yeah. Well, party for the planet, I guess. <laughs> that's the takeaway there. There's just parts of the planet. Though. Just parts. Yeah, parts yes. Yeah. All right. Very good.